very little amount of water going across that. They must just want to keep it barely turning. And this one has none, but the water is going under it. There's plenty of water. They just, they just don't want the wheel turning fast, I guess. That, that, those are kids are throwing rocks on it. So this is a pitchback wheel. This is like the one I just saw this morning in Osterberg. Uh, well, this is a little bit smaller than the one I saw. But it's pitchback, meaning it's turning upward toward the hill. So three, three water wheels in this complex. Maybe it's for a sawmill, yes, we're going to have to look. There are the logs. The bark has been stripped off. Uh, some circular saws. I guess they would work with that water wheel because they're not real big. But what did most of the sawing was that up and down saw. And there's a chance to look at how they clamp the log. I'm going to have to make something like this because I'm going to make an up and down sawmill. There's a sash that runs up and down, now in this case on a bar, on a uh, rod, or a shaft I should say, on two shafts. And it's on metal, metal track. And there is the, there is the clamp. Judging by the freshness of the wood and this slab, there's no doubt about it. They've been running this recently, maybe today. That clamp really deserves some study. Let's see. We can make that out of a car jack, that part. I'd love to see this one. We're going to get down and take another look at that wheel now with this in mind. This is a lever to control the water, to turn it on or to turn it off, to divert it. Uh, that, that comes over here, and it will decide whether the water is going to go over this wheel or over that wheel. And I'm told that up there there's another one to take out of this wheel. Let me see if I can get down inside. Well, I think it's safe to say that with that amount of water and that amount of fall, you can run an up and down sawmill. I guess I knew that anyway. The first of this is another matter. I don't know what this is to, I'll go find out. Alright, this is underneath, and this is all being operated very slowly. Uh, it's slipping, there's a slip clutch up there, so that shaft isn't turning. Hmm. Oh, here it shows the mechanism. It's like it's a way to make it go fast. The parts. There's a list of the parts. There's a list in German. I have many German friends and I read German. And now on the image you can see where the parts are. One blade frame saw, double Pittman saw. They're bringing the water. They're about to turn this mill on. I guess. Oh. They've changed the water, so most of the water now is going through here. This is a bone grinding mill. Bone grinding mill. And it's about to go into operation. We'll get to see it work. Let's see what's inside here. Now let's look at the building first. It's like a stamping mill. A stamping mill. He has just turned the water onto that wheel. And now he's driving this stuff smooth. He's going to throw the belt over onto the drive. It's on a clip wheel. Oh, no, he lost the belt. He'll have to stop for that. Okay, he's put the belt back on. Sometimes that's if you start it up too fast.
got it going again. The belt jumped off. That's what happened in there. There's some water from this mill, ready for water from the other mill. Now you probably saw in there was a bunch of cams, and as the stamps, stamps were lifted, they turned. They were steadily turning. Slightly. He lost his uh, the, the flat belt jump off again, so he stopped trying. He's going to go to the sawmill.